can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given the value of x as p root of 81 plus p root of 54 plus p root of 36 plus p root of 24 plus p root of 16, then the goal is to evaluate this expression 1 over x plus p root of 2 raised to the power of 5. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this x, this is x, then the goal is to evaluate this expression 1 over x plus p root of 2 raised to the p power. And the question, how do we get the value of this expression? So first, we need to get the reciprocal of this number x, then add to p root of 2, then raise to the p power. Now, we cannot use this x, this value of x for now because this is a lot of p root and also getting the reciprocal of this is a bit messy for us. So, to answer this, we will rewrite this x. We will make this simple before we evaluate this expression. Now, the question is how to do that. So first, let's focus on those numbers, 81, 54, 36, 24, and 16. Because we can rewrite those numbers as 81 as 3 raised to the fourth power, 54 is 27 times 2 or 3 cubed times 2, 36 is 9 times 4 or 3 squared times 2 squared, 24 is 3 times 8 or 3 times 2 cubed, and 16 is 2 raised to the fourth power. Now, using some loss of exponent, we can rewrite the right-hand side as follows. So, p root of 3 raised to the fourth power, we can rewrite this as p root of 3 raised to the power of 4, and all the way down to p root of 2 raised to the fourth power. Next, notice in this kind of situation, we have a lot of p root of 3 and p root of 2. So in order to simplify this, let's call A as p root of 3 and B be equal to p root of 2. So we can replace all p root of 3 and p root of 2 as A and B respectively like this. Now let's focus on this result. Because this is very familiar if you remember this identity. A raised to the p power minus B raised to the p power, we can factor this out nicely as A minus B multiply by a raised to the fourth power plus a cubed b plus a squared b squared plus a b cubed plus b raised to the fourth power. And notice, this factor is exactly this expression as x. So we can set this expression as a raised to the fifth power minus b raised to the fifth power all over a minus b. So if we divide both sides by a minus b. Now using this format, we can rewrite the value of x or this x as a raised to the p power minus b raised to the p power all over a minus b. And we will use this format instead of this x. Alright, now from here, let's bring back the value of a and b because we know a is p root of 3 and b is p root of 2. So replacing a and b as p root of 3 and p root of 2 like this. And now, p root of 3 raised to the p power, we know this is just 3. And p root of 2 raised to the p power, we know this is just 2. Now 3 minus 2 simply equal to 1. And this is now our x. So x is just 1 over p root of 3 minus p root of this is more simple than this given equation. So now we will use this value of x to evaluate this expression. Alright, so let's replace this x with the value of x that we got a while ago. 1 over p root of 3 minus p root of 2, like this. And now if we get the reciprocal of this, we get p root of 3 minus p root of 2. Now, negative p root of 2 and positive p root of 2, this is just 0. So this will give us p root of 3 raised to the p power, which is equivalent to 3.
And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given that x is p root of 81 plus p root of 54 plus p root of 36 plus p root of 24 plus p root of 16, then the value of this expression, 1 over x plus p root of 2 raised to the p power, simply equivalent to 3. And as always, we are done.